again, guys, today I'm going to show you this ENU or INU B5 20,000 milliamps power bank. It's supposed to be the smallest 20,000 milliamps power bank. And despite the small size, it has still a maximum power of 22.5 watts. And it has even three outputs. It has a USB-C, which you can use as input and output. And two times USB-A, of course, as output. So we can charge three devices at the same time. It supports also the latest protocol features like PD 3.0 and Quick Charge 4.0. And there's a very special feature, especially for this size, it has even a built-in flashlight. As far as I can see, less and less power banks on the market have some flashlights built in, but I think it's still a really nice thing. A couple of days ago, Hurricane Kilin has hit our area really hard, and about 40% of our whole area here has been hit by multi-day power outages. And so what I was looking for then was power banks with built-in flashlight, something like that. And so let's open the package, see what we get. Comes with a nice carrying transportation bag. Get also this nice USB-A to USB-C charging cable. You can use for input and output. And then of course the beautiful power bank with a nice black matte finish and a nice display here on top where we can see the battery percentage really nice and clear and when we double press here the light will turn on as you can see not super strong but that means also it can last very very long that's usually exactly what you need when you have a long power outage so you can place one of these in every room to have illumination 24 7 for many many days by the way the detailed specs here in the back of the power bank and some testing here some protocol compatibility on usb a on the left side and you can see it has a very wide compatibility with apple samsung uavi and much much more quick charge 2.0 3.0 4.0 pretty much everything which you can expect these days now i have increased the voltage to 12 volts and so we can start increasing the power you can see almost 2 amps let's check the power 18 watts how much can we get 20 watts we have more than 22 yeah, i would say that's the maximum here solid 22 watts with a stable 12 volts that's on usb a here and so here's the compatibility test on USB-C PD. So you can see full compatibility with Apple, Samsung, UI, Quick Charge, and so on and so on. And so let's increase the voltage also here on PD up to 12 volts. And let's start the ramp up test to see the maximum power on PD we had definitely above 20 watts. And yeah, when you do the mass here, 12.2 by 2.1 that's super super close to 25 watts and so let's charge it on the input for example with this super high power 140 watts i knew power bank of course the speed always a little bit depending on the charge maybe here not at full speed but still 17 17.1 watts and of course one of the most important tests is to check the capacity we have two numbers here the first thing is 20,000 milliamps but of course we are not talking about 5 volts we are talking about 3.7 volts which is inside and so this power bank has to convert this here to standard 5 volts for usb and that of course is not for free and so we have a loss of about 25 percent for the conversion plus additionally usually 10 percent when we have a good conversion unit here inside which makes it 65 percent which would be around 13 thousand milliamps at 5 volts for a really good quality power bank which only very few 20,000 milliamps power banks are reaching so let's check here what we have if we reach that 13,000 and we can see we have even more we have 14,180 milliamps definitely way above average average for a 20,000 milliamps battery is usually around 10,000 milliamps at 5 volts so we are way above that here and the second thing here it says 74 
but ours and we are pretty close 70.65 so really really good again definitely way above average something which we see in only very rare cases also something really important to know that this battery of course is not damaged when it stops we can always turn it on again you can see i've seen that also during the test so it has great protection against overcurrent overheating and all these things another thing which you maybe want to know what happens when it's down to zero percent we can attach it here but it doesn't deliver any power anymore of course because it wants to protect the batteries inside by the way we are talking about lithium polymer batteries and not lithium ion that's much better for such power banks because lithium polymer can tolerate much higher temperatures for example if you forget it in a car by accident you don't have to be worried so much and another thing at zero percent we can still double press here and we still get a little bit of emergency light pretty cool yeah overall we got definitely confirmation that this is another great product from inu or i knew very reliable brand and so this is also the case here with this power bank so full recommendation from my side and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time